it's a very important issue that has come up in the form of a resolution. I am glad that Mr. Abdul Wahab took the initiative of moving this resolution, though he was not very emphatic regarding the reasons why there, ha there has been a backwardness for the Muslim community as a whole in this country. Sir, further, I echo the words of my friend, esteemed colleague, Javar Sarkarji, that he would have expected much more clarity in the words of Mr. Abdul Baha. Much more clarity. And we all expected Mr. Abdul Wahab to ensure that the example, the egalitarian example of Kerala is being quoted here to make sure that the people who are sitting there understand the real issues plaguing the Muslim community. I would never expect Mr. Abdul Wahab to play such parochial politics. And earlier on a couple of occasions, he had even complimented Mr. Murli Dharan and Mr. Daji Chandrasekhar being the ambassadors of Kerala, which is absolutely not the fact. In any case, I would appreciate the spirit behind this resolution and would come to the pertinent aspects of this resolution. Sir, sir the quality of the democracy in any society can be understood by the cardinal aspect of representation for different sections of the people. There lies the quality of the democracy. When we talk about the Indian democracy, the gross deficiency that is being demonstrated in a humongous way is the lack of representation of the minorities in the discourse of this country. This is where I wanted Mr. Abdul Wahab to emphasize. He should have cited the example of Kerala, where the minorities get the ample representation in every vertical of the administration. Sir, he talked about the educational backwardness of the Muslim community. Certain figures and facts were cited here. I am so saddened to invite the attention of this August House to a particular incident with regard to the hijab that was actually plaguing the politics of the nation. The students in Mangalore or Karnataka were prevented from wearing hijab. In the name of ensuring secular dress code, sir. Sir, this government has been always harping on the fact that they want to ensure that the minorities become part of the mainstream. What is the effect of it, sir? I would, I would just tell you. What was the effect of such a hijab ban? More than a lakh Muslim girls backed out of government colleges in Karnataka alone. And if you look at the statistics of the enrollment of Muslim girls, especially, it has come down drastically. It should have been the other way. If at all you want to empower the Muslim society, if at all you want to bring them to the mainstream, their number should have gone up, sir. But by creating such a controversy, what has actually happened in this country is that the number of Muslim girls getting enrolled for higher education is depleting, coming down. Whereas the participation of Muslim community, Muslim students in Kerala is going up. Mr. Abdul Wahab, didn't you think appropriate that you should have cited the Example of Kerala, where we hold your hands together. Yes. Where you want to hold your hands together. Very proud. You should have been proud of Kerala. Very, very 
we would have appreciated or move initiative yes and further sir further sir yes because of cpm we are in the forefront of protecting the minorities we are in the forefront please please sir. we are in the forefront that they should understand and he makes people on the other side ambassadors of kerala without even understanding the nuances of kerala politics and national politics i know he got an admonishment from his leader he should never utter that otherwise i am challenging him can he repeat his ambassadorship given to the uh, others please, yes please. if he can Abdul if he can Bahadri. repeat if please. he can repeat please that 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 two ministers mr john yes, sir so no kerala <laughs> politics sir i am challenging him sir please sir sir sir, sir please sir i am challenging please. him he will please. not do this sir 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 the recently union budget sir i will tell you sir sir you should appreciate the fact that i am digging out statistics to show to show that to, yes abdul, he will go to bengal always abdul i know Bahadji, that please. he will not go to kerala sir abdul bahad sir get opportunity sir, to I, speak again i am someone <laughs> sir i am someone i am someone who has stood up to support his resolution the only criticism i had was that he should have had crystal clear clarity on what he was moving that is all my grouse sir 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 javar sarkar ji said there is a dip in reduction of 38% in the budget allocation for the minority things affairs sir i would tell you sir you want to modernize the madrasas sir in up so much of talk has been whipped up in the name of modernizing the madrasas niranjan ji you also must have read you are busy practicing in supreme court but in the meantime you also would be looking at the newspapers sir what has happened there is a reduction of 93% 93% cut in the allocation of madrasas sir sir it was 160 crore you know it came down to 10 crores it came down to 10 crores what has happened to this country sir sir one more thing sir sir ya bolte dekho that is that that is that is the style please that is the attitude please, of this please. government you have two more speakers from your yes, party sir please. this is an important issue i am talking course, for the minorities but the time sir no issue is, sir there are very please. few members to speak on this we are all concerned please about continue this. sir sir i will tell you sir the allocation for research schemes for minorities including muslims christian sikhs jains buddhists and parsis were reduced 50% sir in this budget in this budget down from 41 crore to 20 crores sir sir please understand the pre metric scholarship for minorities down from 1425 crores last year to 433 crore abdul wahab ji dekho 1425 se it has come down to 433 crores pre metric scholarship for minorities madam you are from up you know the hapless condition of the minorities there why you are you keeping mom you should please, have i mean please, stood up and please, you should have you stood up and told mr, mr. john bretas please come sir, now sir please. sir the allocation please the uh, sir please. sir please. the allocation for please pmj yk came down from 1650 to 600 crore this year <laughs> sir more than 1000 crore has been cut for that sir <laughs> sir sir what is the slogan sir every time ra rajesh ji aaya thoda thoda delay ho gaya you should have spoken <laughs> sir sir i will tell you sir sir the slogan sabka saath sabka vikas kiska vikas sir kiska vikas kiska vikas aapas mein no cross talking please please no sir honorable members no cross talking please mr john betas please sir please 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 ji please now no sir please give me two more please yeah. please conclude i am facing you anupriya ji is saying that please Ad please speak on the subject sir, i am speaking no cross talking anupriya ji is trying to explain here 
saying that Adani also belongs to a minority community. That is what she is trying to say. Manne, Manne, John Britas ji, Anupriya ji ne record pe kuch bhi nahi bola. Please don't have cross talking between you. Please address the chair, sir. Sir, please, sir, please, sir, 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 sir. Sit. Please, please, sir, sir, please, sir, please, please, sir, please. Sir, please. please check with any. Please. Sir. Madam, please, please, please check with anybody from Kerala, anybody from Kerala that I am a mind reader, sir. I was reading her mind, sir. Yeah. Please. <laughs> sir, sir. <laughs> sir, one more thing, sir. So, in Supreme please. Court, sir, in Supreme Court, sir, sir, in Supreme Court, Karnataka government filed an affidavit on this hijab case. And the Karnataka government said in its uh, affidavit that we are not allowing hijab that is to ensure a secular dress code for the college students. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough. They have their own view. Sir, in a country like India, the largest state, that is Uttar Pradesh, the chief minister is Sporting a religious attire. No, no, no issue. No comment on Chief Minister. No issue. Do not go on record. No, no issue. No, no. Mr. John Bridas, it will not go. It, no. Mane, Mane Neeraj ji, aap jaantte hai, Mane Chief Minister or kisi ke baare mein aap koi comment nahi kar sakte. It will not go on record as per rules. Okay, sir. Please, withdraw your comments. It is not going on record. Please. I want your protection. Please. I want your protection. Please. Protection. A, Chief Manne. Minister is not under the Do not talking, please. Is Do not have cross talking. Manne. No, Manni. I stand by that. Please, no. How can they say that? It will not go. Please conclude your sir, speech now. Sir, please I conclude, sir. Sir, 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 yeah. sir. I am concluding. Bite, bite, bite. Please, please. Manni, sir, John Britas, please, 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 please take one. Please, I just I will. Clear rule number 238, its explanation, Mr. John Britas. The words persons in the high authority means persons whose conduct can be only discussed on a substantive motion drawn in a proper terms under the constitution or such other persons whose conduct in the opinion of the chairman should be discussed on a substantive motion drawn in terms to be approved by him. It's already clear. So do not have those comments. Please conclude now. You speak sir, on the subject. Sir, I, sir, I will... Sir, you know. Please, please. Sir, you know one thing. Please. Sir, sir, one minute, one. You know one thing. I will always, I'll always go by the wisdom of the chair, sir. I will go by your wisdom. Twelve minutes. Ah, sir, 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 I am giving a chance to Anupriya ji to demonstrate her loyalty yes. towards the leader there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, 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 the most important, the most Aapas important aspect. Mr. John Britos, conclude. Sir, I am concluding, sir. Minutes. You are in the minute being out of time. Minute bol chuke hai. Please conclude sir, now. Sir, you are following the chairman's route. Yes, please, please don't interrupt me. <laughs> please. Sir. Yes. Please. Hey, will bite you, bite you. Behenji, bite you. Bite you, bite you. Bite you, bite you. Please. Bite you. Hey, hand jod ke bol raam, bite you. Nay, then. Aapka tarif diya mene. Please. Aapka tarif diya na. One minute. Anupriya ji. Mr. John Britas. Nay, please, please. Mr. John Britas, please, please take your seat. Please take your seat. As per rules, Manne John Britas, you know rules very well. Aapne kisi member ka naam liya. She has a right to speak. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, please. Very humble submissions to you to the honorable member is a very good friend he talks uh, a lot in the house we all have this privilege of listening to his views but he said two things first of all the word panga is unparliamentary and it should be, it will be examined from the proceedings yes. of the house and second he said something regarding anupriya ji anupriya ji must prove her loyalty to the leader i have to correct him and tell him that i am leading my own party yes. and the name of my party is Apna Dal Sone La. <laughs> now he will be uh, updated on this, please. Sir, so, conclude now. Sir, now 
I am very glad that she got an opportunity to demonstrate her identity here. Please. Sir. Sir, the most important aspect in a democracy is the representation, sir. Sir, our founding fathers were very clear about it. You would have read the debates of the Constituent Assembly, sir. So what has happened to this country? Just look at the representation of... Sir, please give me... It's a very important matter. Just, sir, this, 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 may not be, this may not be very soothing to your ears. I know please, that. Please. Sir, the 20 crore, 20 crore people of this country, what is the representation they have in executive, legislature, judiciary, media, and bureaucracy? Sir, 20 crore population. It's 15 years now. Sir, I'll move on to sir, other speaker. Five minutes. Sir, two more minutes. No. Sir, I will, I, will, I will tell you. Sir, if at all you look at the population of the Muslims, at least they should have got 74 seats in Lok Sabha. What is the number, sir? 27. Sir, does India, please. as a single Muslim chief minister amongst the 28 states? Please, please. No, sir. Thank you. Sir, Thank is there you. a Muslim minister? Mr. Javed Ali Khan, please, no, I am moving to Muslim him, Javed Ali Khan. You have taken 15 minutes, sir. 15 minutes I have given you instead of 2 minutes. I am concluding. Please. So I would, I would, I would call upon everyone in this house, irrespective of their political affiliation, this side or that side. Thank you. I would have. Thank you. Thank you.